welcome back to the BMG Loft. It's been a while. Uh, the studio got just absolutely nuts. And again, you know, we're just uh, a couple of people here. So it's not a huge facility. So a lot of that responsibility falls on me, which I'm fine with because it means I'm working and uh, making money and, and I'm blessed and it's going to be a wonderful new year and I'm thankful for it. Uh, but today we're going to talk about this really awesome tool that I've ran across that is known as Soothe from the Maker's Oak Sound, O-E-K Sound. And uh, I believe they're based out of um, Sweden. I can't remember, um, but uh, you need to check them out because this, this plugin has been life-changing. And the, the ease in which it takes to learn and set up and the quality of what you get out of it is unbelievable. The best way for me to describe it is that it's like a... It, it, it works like a dynamic EQ, but like what a true, to me, you know, uh, you know, we think of dynamic uh, EQs as, you know, just um, being able to uh, have a threshold set and, uh, you know, work like a compressor on a certain section of the frequency spectrum. Well, this kind of functions like that, but at the same time, it works dynamically with the frequencies um, and what it deems that might be a resonance or you know an issue in the audio that needs to be pulled down and you can treat this uh, like a dynamic EQ you can treat this like um, uh, you know a resonant peak uh, eliminator it's I've found so many functions for it on so many different things uh, what I'm going to show you is just nothing in, com in compared to what you can do with it I'm just showing some basic stuff today of what you can do with it and uh, what it can do to the sound. Uh, I don't know what kind of filtering they're using, but it's absolutely incredible. Um, and w what it does to the signal is just, it's so transparent in uh, issues that you have. I'm, I'm probably gonna do a video more in depth where we take uh, audio examples and just totally wreck them because I wanna show you just how drastic that this plugin can change things. In this video, I just kind of want to do a basic overview and a basic sound of what you can get from it uh, and, and a few different examples. And we're going to start with, this is a little jazz track I wrote for a TV bumper. And uh, on the electric guitar, I love the tone that I had, uh, but some of the notes when I was getting into the performance, I dug in and it got a little piercy up in the, the upper mid range. And what this thing could do to it is just remarkable. We'll go ahead and play. I'll go in a little bit where I know there's some of that going on. We'll bypass it and then I'll replay it and we'll bring it in. Okay, now let's bring it in with the settings I chose. The best way I know how to describe it is magic. This thing is magic, and it's so easy to dial in. Uh, when you look at this, you almost think of it as, you know, like EQ curve, but think of it uh, in terms of sensitivity, which is, I mean, that's exactly what it is. Uh, whatever it is you're trying to find in the signal or uh, to uh, that's you know you don't like you can find it we'll just play As you can see right there, I found a peak that was driving me nuts, and you can raise this so it attacks it more. You can even pull in the bandwidth so that way you're not affecting other things around it as much. Um, I've even had instances where I'm just focusing in on a peak, and the stuff behind it, I really don't even want it to, to mask, and you can use this filter here, or you can create like a, um, a peak dip kind of thing going on if, you know, if that works for you. Uh, there's so so many things you can do with it, and the 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 biggest thing for me is just how good 
that it actually just transparently works. It's just mind-boggling to me. Um, you know, we can, I'll show something real drastic. So you can use really drastic settings and you're not really hearing artifacts or anything. I don't know how they've done it, but it's remarkable. And, um, you know, the, the uh, cool features of it is you can adjust the sharpness. So if you're wanting to go for more resonant peaks, uh, and the lower you go, the more it treats it like a broad general dynamic EQ. And with the selectivity, it's kind of cool too, because you can choose uh, how hard you want the algorithm to work on finding multiple resonances or just s soloing in on what it deems necessary that's just not functioning in the signal. And uh, that's great. You know, I've found that higher values are great for like DSing or uh, a certain kind of like cymbal whistle at a certain frequency. It'll help dial that in closer so you're not removing a bunch of other stuff you don't want it to. And that on cymbal whistle, it works absolute miracles. Again, there's just so many examples we could do with this. It's hard for me to even you know, uh, it would take, I could easily do an hour video on what this thing can do on full mixes, uh, tons of diff different singular tracks. Uh, this thing is a godsend for getting stuff that I haven't recorded or even stuff I have recorded where you're in situations where you've got to make the best with, uh, what the budget was, where we were recording at. And this thing is just remarkable. I can't say enough about it. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't even want to keep talking about it. I just want you to go and try it because this thing is amazing. And I can't wait to see what else these guys come up with because this is so different than, than anything that's been on the market in a long time. Uh, I can't wait to see what else that they come up with because it's just amazing. Uh, we'll take a look at the piano real quick, see what we did with it. Listen to how smooth, smoothly and naturally it smooths out that that top top end peaky stuff going on around 2K. Uh, some of the stuff down in the low mids that are getting a little wooly. It just when it hits and it, it, it just it's amazing how it knows and and how uh, how much control you have over it with the, the the depth knob, the selectivity, sharpness, everything about it is just. Oh, and I forgot to mention you can. It even has a wet dry blend, so you know if you. Are dealing with something that needs pretty aggressive processing that to the point where you're definitely going to hear some kind of artifacts you can blend back in some of the dry signal and i've had great success with that it has oversampling um higher resolutions uh you know it's it's heavier on the cpu but uh if you're having to really aggressively get after like some uh peaky resonant stuff or, or sibilance uh that can can really be a godsend too to, to help it even be more transparent so, uh, yeah, guys, this thing is remarkable. I, this is like plug into the year for me. So, uh, <laughs> I know it sounds like an infomercial, but, uh, I, this is my favorite tool right now. Um, because it's so quick and effortless to get rid of, uh, issues like it, a common thing on, uh, you'll find with this too is incredible on vocals for, uh, maybe it was cut on a cheap condenser and you're getting some of those weird resonances thought someone was coming in um but uh yeah some of those weird resonances that uh, uh can just you can eq them all day you can dynamic eq them all day and you can make it sound better but you're just never really happy with it the results i've gotten with this on those type situations uh, you your mind will be blown and again we'll, we'll cover that in another video where we we really throw this thing through the ringer, I just didn't want to spend a ton of time uh, with the first video, so so uh, you, I, I'm on a loss for words, as you can see. 
So just go try this, uh, oaksound.com. It's O-E-K sound.com. Uh, download a trial and uh, let me know what you guys think below. If you are using it, let me know. Uh, it's just, it's awesome, man. This thing is absolutely fantastic. So uh, happy New Year's, guys. And uh, until next time, guys, keep it grooving.